Hello, I'm here to do a general love reading. I'm just gonna see what the potential main energies are at this time and just see what cards come out. So I pulled out all of my love oracles, maybe except one deck and I'm not using. So yeah, I have quite a bit of love decks or um, oracle decks I'm gonna be using. And then I'm gonna be using the uh, my vampire tarot deck yeah I'm gonna use that because I really feel like in relationships you know the sucking and the draining can go both ways okay so I figured <laughs> that the vampire tarot deck would be a good um, deck to use so let's go ahead and clear space Okay, what are three things you're desiring at this time, whether you are in a relationship or single collective? What are three things you are desiring at this time or potentially could be desiring, okay? This card fell out, but I'm not gonna take it. It's the forgiving and learning. So some of you are desiring forgiveness. Maybe you're wanting to be forgiven or I don't know. Yeah, or maybe you're desiring to learn from a situation. It could be forgiving family, your family, your partner's family, whatever. Okay. Three things you could be potentially desiring in your relationship or what you would be desiring if you were in a relationship. Okay. So singled or coupled. Let's see. Oh, wow. You're desiring strong chemistry. All right. There's strong chemistry, magnetic attraction here. So some of you could be desiring for your partner to see you as attractive or to, um, um, I would say, gravitate towards you more, okay? Like you're desiring this, okay? I was also hearing for some of you that the energy is mutual, okay? Some of you could have lost this spark in your relationship, and so you are um, wanting this chemistry again, okay? I'm hearing I'm getting what I want. Some of y'all could be getting what you want already right now. Okay, I heard that. All right, you're desiring playfulness to have fun again. I was getting a vision of riding on the back of a Harley or riding on the back of like a bike or something. Okay, taking road trips, uh, amusement parks, just having fun. Okay, so you're desiring to to have a playful relationship, or if you're if you were to get in a relationship, someone who is um, is adventurous, someone who's loving, nurturing, affectionate. You know, I was getting a vision of somebody getting their pigtails, you know, pulled and teased and things like that. You're desiring that. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. All right, you're also desiring to get to know each other again, okay? For some of you, you could be in a relationship and you're like, I don't know this person anymore. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, who is this, okay? Um, if you're not in a relationship, you're, you're desiring to really get to know somebody authentically. No funny business, no bullshit. Like, what you see is what you get. You are desiring this. So it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I was hearing an open book. You want somebody who is literally an open book. And most importantly, you're wanting that trust again. Maybe you're wanting the trust to be restored or maybe... Um, it can be mutual, okay? It says the situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? Um, I was hearing I want to be able to trust again. All right. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's not use these. Let's use these. All right. Let's see what comes out. Collective love reading okay six cards all right obstacles so some of you are experiencing obstacles roadblocks it could be uh your own doing or it could be the other persons you're dealing with they're doing um <laughs> It could be outside influence, you name it, okay? But there is a roadblock, a feeling of not being able to move forward. It says blocks, pathways, delays, okay? 
um, somebody is wanting to move forward, okay? Or there is a mutual desire to move forward, but you can't. There's an obstacle here. And this obstacle could be ch because of children, okay? It says childlike, innocence, fun. You could be dealing with someone who's very childish, okay? They want to play video games all the time or they want to just um, maybe they play too much. They're not serious, okay? It's like how can we move forward if you're not taking this seriously, you know? Or we can't move forward because of children or some type of influence, okay? These children can be small or they could be adult children. You take it as it resonates here, okay? Um... All right. I was hearing somebody has more than one child or more than one baby mama, something like that. Okay. Um, twin flame. Okay. So you could be in a twin flame situation or perceive it as such. It's a spiritual alignment, um, effort, effortless, karmic. So some of you could be desiring for this person to be in alignment with you or vice versa, okay? I was hearing that there's too much going on with this twin flame situation. I'm already getting exhausted, so let's move on. All right, mature man, older man or older male mature in age. So you could be dealing with an older man or you could be desiring an older man or somebody who is mature it says mature man um i was saying grow up what is going on you know you can even have like an older man and they could be childlike so that is a thing nowadays all right dating whining dining romance somebody could be dating maybe an older man um uh, that has children and maybe this is an obstacle maybe maybe the children don't like like this person okay Maybe they don't like mommy's boyfriend or daddy's girlfriend, whatever, something, <laughs> something like that, okay? Um, if that's not the case, it's just, just um, you dating, enjoying life. Um, this is romance as well, You're, or you could be desiring this. Long distance, somebody's in a long distance relationship or this could be uh, a relationship that is strained. It says foreign themes, distance. You could be dating someone that is foreign or somebody that's from a different background um, or connected with someone. I was hearing entangled with this twin flame energy. There's an entanglement that you have with this person or this person comes with baggage, okay? This baggage could be something that they're dealing with or the baggage could be literally children here. Um, but um, there is an energy of like longing for someone, still feeling disconnected from someone, even though you are in a relationship or even though you see this person all the time. There's like a distance here for some of you. Brunette female. Okay, so you can be this brunette female, somebody who has dark hair. Um, I was hearing that this mature man, um, this is his type, someone with like dark hair, light eyes. <laughs> this is darker hair, intense, focused. Somebody is intense, intense. This can be somebody with an intense personality. They don't take no for an answer. Courting man, uniform, professional male. What is going on? Okay, somebody is being courted at this time. Um, this brunette female is not playing games here. Um, there is a man that's dating some, uh, dating a woman. Um, I was like hearing a high value woman, like just someone, a woman that's respectful. Like she's, she's not like a thought or anything like that. Like she just doesn't play any games. Like she knows what she wants. Like she's literally like a real woman. You know, she knows what she wants not playing games at all um and this man is courting courting her um the mature man also is a father figure it could be a father figure that is um uh, an obstacle here this could be um 
I don't know. It's like a father figure who's very involved in their daughter's life. Which is good, but it's kind of like, in a way, it's like, um, there's pressure. Like, there's some type of pressure. And in a way, I don't feel like it's too bad because if it's in a healthy way, it's like, okay, this man wants to make sure his daughter's being taken care of. Like, don't come to my daughter with no bullshit, right? Like, it's like that type of energy that I'm getting. All right, triangle. So third party situation going on, or there's people interfering in this relationship or in this connection here. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody feels like some, like their partner or the person that they're connected to is, um, seeing other people. It says crowded relationship choices. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have an ice queen. So there's someone who is divorced or in a separation with their partner. And this is like a separation, either divorced or separated here. But this person, this man is have, I was hearing have, they have, he has his cake and eating it too. Like pretty much doing what he wants, but he's married here. Oh, wow. Dating, seeing other people. I don't know. This may not be for everybody, but this is, I have so many more cards to pull. <laughs> so many more cards to pull. Like this is literally making me frown. Like this looks like a hot mess. Like this does here. Okay. So let's clear the space. Let's see what other messages come out. Okay. This was like hurting my temples. Okay. All right, what else do we got going on for the collective in their love life? What's, what's going on? Um, I was hearing that, like, for someone, like, someone's dating, and I was hearing, like, the deal breaker could be that they have children or something like that. It could be a woman that has children or a man that has children, and that's, like, an obstacle or something like that. Okay, Let's see. How are you? How are you showing up? Actually, no, I don't want to do it that way. Let's just give me the situation. Okay. What could be potentially going on with the collective in their relationship or in their love life? All right. All right. Hot and cold. Wow. So there's some hot and cold energy. All right. Sense mixed signals, inconsistency, inscrutable, lack of clarity. So there is someone who's not really being aware or who's not really aware of the mixed signals that they are sending. And it's because they're unstable within themselves. All right. So for some, this may not be intentional for others. Um, they're just someone who's inconsistent. Um, one minute they, they're filling the person, the next minute they're not. Um, this is giving me mutable energy. So think about all the mutable signs. Okay. It could be this type of person. Okay. Loves growth. So someone loves growth. They're, uh, this is loves that love that grows with time needs time to grow unexpected lessons and love. So, um, there is someone who, um, loves growth in a relationship. They love learning the lessons. They, um, they're always trying to figure out ways to improve. It's just the energy of someone really doing the work, uh, like, out of the couple, like there's one person that's really putting in the work. They're trying to, they're learning about themselves. They're learning about this person, the relationship, while the other person's like sending mixed signals. And it's very well could be that they're not aware of this. They're not aware of the signals that they're um, sending out. I was hearing ADHD. Somebody could have ADHD, possibly. Okay. All right, but somebody um, wants to grow. So wa someone wants to make things better, but you know, it takes two. If there's problems in a relationship, you guys have to be willing to work it out, both of you. It can't just be one-sided. All right, all right, mirroring, yeah. So someone is mirroring their partner, okay? Mirroring each other, something needs healing, seeing yourself and them. So I was hearing like obs obsessive tendencies. So maybe you both are seeing that you have obsessive tendencies or dominant tendencies, controlling tendencies, tendencies or something like that. Someone is becoming aware, okay, 
Um, I feel like for some, it's just one of you that's becoming aware of this mirroring or aware of this um, in general, okay? So it's like one of you are very aware of, of what's going on. And that's crazy because it's like only one of you are wanting to grow. You're wanting to evolve. Um, I was hearing for some, this was like a passing energy. Um, I was hearing that you both were realizing that you were toxic for each other or, you know, I was hearing one up each other. Like there was a relationship based off competition. You could have been in collective for some of you. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay. Divine intervention, divine intervention. Angels are helping. Trust the divine plan. Believe in miracles. So angels are helping you, whether uh, that be helping you find the right person for you, the right person that's going to uh, match with you or align with you. All right. But you're needing to have patience. Okay. Believe in miracles. Believe that there is someone out there for you. Okay. And this could be in the form of a companionship. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. Okay. It can be strictly platonic for some of you. All right. Um, there could be a situation here where this person is really going through it. Okay. And God is really working on their heart or the, the love angels, whatever, are um, trying to work on this person here. I was hearing you can't change if they if they don't want to change or you wait, hold on. <laughs> you can't change them if they don't want to change. OK. So um, I do see this as for some of you. Um, this person could be getting removed out of your life. OK. And this is to help you move forward. That's for some of you. Okay, I really feel like the um, divine intervention, it's like something wasn't right for the angels to step in. Like something was not right. I was also hearing somebody could have lost someone. Um, and if you lost someone you were in a relationship with, like you're learning the lessons, you're learning a lot and this hot and cold energy could be your good and bad days you know what I mean your your passion you know so all around them look at that I said somebody you have lost and that girl looks like a ghost oh my goodness so can't escape connection telepathic experiences your love haunts them wow so this person person is still around you if you've lost a loved one someone you're in a relationship with this person is still around you and it's hard for you to shake them uh, for some of you, you do feel like this person is around you if this is not the case it's hard for you to separate from this person or vice versa Okay, this person feels you all around them or there is an interference here. Okay, there is an interference here. Okay, this could be your man and this is an ex or something that is still hanging on. All right. And maybe this is going to be a divine intervention. Maybe the angels see what's going on. Okay, and like you're trying to separate this divine union. No, it ain't happening. We coming in, we got the bow and arrow. Okay, <laughs> that's for some of you. Apology. Someone is wanting to apologize or maybe an apology has already uh, been made. Whether that, you, whether that be you making this apology or apologizing, apologizing to someone or somebody apologizing to you. Um confession mending relationship rebuilding so uh makes a lot of sense with the love's growth i feel like there is someone who is um forgiving if it's not an apology that you're receiving there is somebody who is very forgiving they're very forgiving they're always trying to work on the relationship they're always trying to make it better but you have to understand it has to be both ways okay um, I do see someone forgiving and this is someone it could be one or two or three of you. I don't know. It could be maybe even be more. I don't know. But there is somebody who is actually forgiving someone and is actually making the relationship like grow or um, it's 
someone's learning a lesson from this. Okay. Main lady. Wow. Yeah. So you very well could be the main lady. Okay. You could be desiring to be the main lady. You don't want no games. All right. It says they have chosen no interference. Focus on one person. All right. So I did mention here that this feels like an interference for some of you. This could have been an interference or it is, but I feel like there is a divine intervention taking place here. And this intervention, uh, interv <laughs> this interference is going to be no more. Okay. You're the queen bee. This is what I see here for some of you. Okay. Um, well, this is a desire. There is someone who is very much in love with you. They can't shake you, even if they try to act like they can shake you. And they may play with you emotionally. They can be hot and cold. I was hearing Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius doing this, okay? This could, <laughs> this could be the Aquarius, trying to have a straight face, an Aquarius man. <laughs> I don't have no feelings. I don't feel love. I don't love. What's love, right? Yeah, right, okay. Um, this is somebody who hides their emotions and their feelings, but they very much so love you and care about you. You know, your love haunts them. Okay. They're not going to tell you how they truly feel. So they try to emotionally manipulate you by being hot and cold. You know, one minute they love you, the next minute they don't. Okay. And the reason why you feel like you're marrying this person is because you can be the same way, but the way you do it, it's not manipulative. Okay. This is for some of you, the way you do it, you may shut down your emotions because you feel like somebody's not value, value, valuing you, or they're maybe, um, I don't know, not they're mistreating you. So you shut down, right? So you're doing the same thing. You can be hot and cold, but you do it to protect yourself. This person could do it to manipulate. Okay. And for some of you, you're like, Oh, Oh, now I see what you're doing. Okay. I figured it out. All right. And for some of you, now that you know this, you could have sympathy. You may, and you have sympathy for them or something like that. Like you feel bad for them because they do this. Okay. Not for them doing it to you intentionally, but for some, it could be this person is not aware. They have some type of emotional something going on. Okay. That they, that they need to work on and you see this. And so you're forgiving of the situation, but others of you, you know, you're like, you're, you're doing this shit on purpose. All right. What else do we got? <laughs> All right. Two more cards. We got self delusion and spotlight. Okay. So somebody is not seeing the reality of their situation. Okay. I was hearing he loves me. He loves me not. Okay. For some of you, like I said, this main lady energy could be a desire. Okay. You may have thought you were going to be this main lady in this person's life or this main man, but that that's not the case because this person has some had some shit going on. And I really feel that there was a divine intervention that removed this person out of your life here. OK, but for some of you, it's like you were willing to put the work in and there's a self delusion that this person is is still holding on to you or wanting you, okay, or vice versa. You just take it as it resonates, okay? It says not seeing reality clearly, lying to yourself, false notations about things, okay? It's like an energy of this person not even acknowledging you in the physical, like you are like a ghost to them. Like they're not putting your emotions, you know, you're putting you first. It's messed up. Some of you are wanting an apology or some of you are needing to apologize to yourself for putting yourself through this. Now we have spotlight. So this is like the power couple energy, high profile relationship, power couple, people envy the connection. So you could be desiring to be in a high profile relationship or to be a power couple with this person. Maybe at one point you thought, you were or you were and it played it played out differently i don't know um your relationship could be in the spotlight it could be the talk of the town it says people envy the connection so it could be that 
um, people are env envying your relationship, your connection here. I also see the self delusion as maybe you not recognizing your worth. Maybe you're not recognizing that you are deserving of being the main lady, lady. You are deserving of being respected. That's for some of you. Um, all right. Yeah, and there's somebody who who definitely has a hard time letting go of their past. And all right, ghosting. So abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. Just someone is feeling left out in the cold a bit. Then they're. Um, I was hearing like left on red. What is going on? Okay. Let's see. How are you showing up in your love life, collective? How is collective showing up in their love life? And we'll take a look at how the other person is showing up. How is the collective showing up in their love life, love situation, whatever? You're showing. <laughs> Okay, uh, somebody is showing up as a man-child. Somebody is showing up as, I don't know, somebody who throws a temper tantrum. They want their way. Okay. Um, immature behavior. Doesn't have their life together. Expects their partner. Why is that showing Okay, to baby them. Okay. Um, the unexpected lover. Not actively looking for love. Wants love without looking for it. Unpredictability is attractive to them. So, <laughs> what is going on? So, I don't know why I was hearing like out of sorts. Okay. Collective, what is going on? Collective, okay, being someone's backup plan. Keeps backup in case things don't work out. Not their first choice. So, Collective, you could have a backup plan. Um, some of you are not actively looking for love. You're just, you could be dating. Right now, you're only focused on your needs being met. I see here, which is probably why you're coming off as, I don't know, like a man child or a baby, like... You want to be supported. That's it. Yeah, a powerful woman. You could be coming off as a powerful woman. Um, the world is your, is her oyster. Take charge at home and business. Regal, goddess, and naturally confident. Yeah. So it just seems like, you know, you're focused on your needs at this time. Okay. You feel like you are deserving of love. You're not taking no for an answer. You're just... You're not wanting anybody to waste your time, all right? I was hearing, what do you have to bring to the table? How is the person you're dealing with showing up? How is the person you're dealing with showing up? They're showing up as a beggar, okay? Whenever I see this card, I think about the um, uh, cancer. <laughs> So it says, desperate for love and affection, a constant need for reassurance, clingy, dependent, and insecure. Okay, so this is how your person is showing up or the person you're maybe interested in. Okay, a hopeful romantic. Believe in romance, but still practical. They believe love always finds a way. They play the field until finding the one. And these energies could be interchangeable, okay? So if you don't resonate with this side here, it could be um, your energy on the other side. So let's see, two more cards. Okay, the total opposite. Attracted to people who are different, likes those who stand out from the rest. They are very open-minded when dating. So they are showing up like the total opposite. They're eccentric um, as well, I'm hearing. Um, I was hearing like different flavors. What is going on? This could be somebody who uh, doesn't mind dating. Um, I don't know, like outside their race or whatever. Okay. 
they don't really have a type. All right, the alpha. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So the alpha, they take charge in a relationship, want someone who will change, excuse me, wants someone who would challenge them. They control their mind and emotions. Yeah, control their mind and emotions. That's why they come off as hot and cold here. Okay. All right, and we have the older lover. So you could very well be dating somebody who is older. Okay, or you could be older. All right, what else do we got here? Let's see tarot. Let's see. Let's get the energies between you guys. What's the energies between the collective and the person of entrance? Okay, six of skulls. Wow. So there is... Some reciprocity here for some of you or there's a desire for this um six of skulls is the lord of success so you could uh, feel like things are working out at this time okay there seems to be like an equal exchange of energy time right now all right there is an energy of someone trying to attract someone okay so you could be an earth sign person um this could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but there's the energy of someone trying to attract someone, trying to lure them in, or they're feeling very attracted to you, whoever this person is. There is an energy of like thirsting, like I'm thirsting after you. All right. Darter of skulls. So there is someone who is putting in time and energy. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody could be doing some head work on someone. What is going on? Okay. Um, yeah, someone is really invested in someone. Um, they're definitely taking steps towards you or you are taking steps towards this person. Um, there is an energy of just being invested in someone, um, investing time and energy here. Yes, the Empress. So this is the Empress here. So you could be the empress or you are dealing with an empress. Yeah, powerful woman, empress. So here you are, collective, the empress showing up. All right. And keep in mind, some of you may resonate with one of these cards, not all of them. I just like to pull a few just to see. But yeah, you are showing up as the empress, as someone who is resourceful, powerful, nurturing. Okay, I was hearing getting what I want. Um, six of knives here. So you and your person are on the same page here, or this could be a desire. I was hearing we're working on things. We're moving forward. So there is an energy of like working on things and moving forward or a desire for this, whether that be mutual or one of the parties who is in this energy. I was hearing, I just want to move on. I want to focus on myself. So there is an energy of someone wanting to move on. We have six here twice, six of skulls and six of knives. Some of you could be dealing with health or maybe you're trying to have a healthier relationship or something, trying to get the relationship in order. This is sixth house Virgo energy. Okay, so Virgo, this could stand out for you. All right, we have three of skulls. So this is the Lord of material working. So you guys are putting things in motions or you're like literally working on things. The Empress is here. She's a number three. So maybe you're working on yourself as self-improvement. Some of you are taking a step back. Maybe you're investing all your energy and attention in this relationship, this connection, this situation, and you're starting to work on yourself. You're starting to focus on yourself, Okay. I was also hearing that somebody's willing to put in that work for you. If you are an empress, they're, they're willing to put this work in for you. Okay. And then we have the high priestess. Wow. So, huh. So somebody is very intuitive. There could be someone who is um, like gifted spiritually. They have the spirit, spirit or gift of sight, excuse me, <laughs> the spirit of spirit. Okay. So the gift of sight, they can see intuitively here. This could be you collective or I'm hearing like, you know, something's up. What is this high priestess saying? 
I was hearing you need to use your intuition. Yeah, your strength. Yeah, your, your intuition is your strength collective. All right. Or the strength energy is Leo energy here. So it's, it could be that maybe you're hiding your strength or you're downplaying your strength in some type of way. You're concealing it or something like that. Okay, or you're showcasing it. You're like, I'm intuitive. Like, I know. Like, maybe you're flexing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two of grails. Okay, two of cups energy. So your interpersonal relationship connections looking pretty good. Or this is what you're desiring. What is he, he tugging on that belt right there? What is going on? Okay, hold up. All right. It's starting to get a little hot up in here. Okay. Um... What else do we got? Um, so many decks. What is going on? It's going to be such a long reading. Okay, what else do we got for the collective? Oh, this flipped over. Better now. Healing wounds within the relationship. This flipped out. So some of you are healing uh, wounds in the relationship. Okay, I don't know what I was hearing. A uh, triangle. I was trying to choose between someone or there's somebody there's an interference somebody um getting involved and for some of you you were made aware of this okay or were made aware of the activity or the the working three of skulls like something happening behind the scenes something going on you're made aware of this okay and you're better now you're healing your wounds within the relationship okay That's for some of you. What else do we got? I'm going to do four cards with this. Watching you. Someone has their eye on you. Wow. Somebody has their eye on you. They're watching you. All right. They could be watching your relationship. They could be watching your relationship be much better now, um, <laughs> which is crazy. All right somebody's watching it could be you it could be the other person it could be outside energy it could be anybody but yeah you're being watched which is crazy all right um uh, confined feeling trapped in this connection so somebody is feeling trapped in their connection um for some it feels like you can't grow um you're unable to express yourself you know your hands are tied you may not feel like you have a voice or unable to speak up or oh my goodness uh this confinement could be a marriage like you are it could be stuck in a marriage or something or just your hands are tied in a situation I was hearing there's nothing you can do or there is something you can do but it's just the situation is so sensitive and it's so touchy it's like you feel trapped or somebody does. Okay, both ways. Partner wants commitment and the single life. Yeah, so there could be some stuff going on in the relationship that could be very stressful. So it's like you want to be with this person or this person wants to be in a relationship, but they don't like what comes with the relationship. It can be drama. It can be all types of shit that's going on and they want the single life. They don't want to be bothered either. So that's why they feel trapped here in this relationship. Um, if that's not the case, it's just that this person wants their cake and eat it too, which is crazy. Okay. And maybe you're recognizing this and you're recognizing, okay, I'm trapped in this relationship or, or I'm bound. I don't want to say bound because you're never bound with somebody, but it just seems like, like, I, like for some, it's like you have a contract with this person, like you're married to this person. And so for some of you, like you've been through a lot of shit with this person and you're deciding to heal yourself within this relationship. Okay. And somebody could be seeing you transform, you know, they're like, well, why isn't so-and-so in the room crying or, you know, stressed out and this and that, like they're watching you heal. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Um, letting go, releasing relationship to focus on self. What did I say? Thank you so much, spirit. Okay. You're releasing a relationship to focus on yourself or someone is, okay? Someone is. 
And that is a good thing. Um, there is an energy of someone holding on tightly. Like they don't want to let go of this person, but this person needs to fucking heal. Like they need to heal. And this person is somewhat afraid that this person will, their partner would leave. Okay. They're like afraid of that. And so they're holding on so tightly instead of looking at the bigger picture, like, okay, this person needs to heal. So yeah, letting go, releasing relationship to focus on self. So what else do we got? Wow, somebody is feeling insecure, like I said. I didn't say insecure, but you know, somebody is holding on tightly, okay? They don't want this person to leave them. So yeah, insecure. Insecurities may be affecting your relationship. So there is some insecurity here, and this is probably why there is a feeling of feeling trapped and confined, and maybe you're feeling trapped and confined to your thoughts or your emotional responses or something. Um, somebody wants to be able to have a commitment in a relationship, but also have fun and go out and do things on their own, do things with their friends. It doesn't necessarily mean single life, aka cheating, dating. It may not just mean that, but somebody needs to also have a life outside of their relationship, their connection, and nothing's wrong with that. Somebody does not like that. They're very much afraid of this. They do not want this to happen. Um, so there is some insecurity here. Somebody needs to get out of the energy of feeling insecure. This insecurity could be the wound that is affecting this relationship. Someone is becoming aware of this insecurity. So instead of, you know, being confined to the insecurity and trap, you're needing to also have your own thing, okay? <laughs> like have your own identity, have your own um, hobbies, whatever. Letting go of a relation doesn't mean you have to break up with a person, you know, necessarily for some of you, but it means like setting some healthy boundaries, you know, focusing on yourself, okay? What else do we got going on with the collective in the relationship? And I'm pull. Okay, it's time to party and celebrate. So some of you are needing to party and celebrate, have a good time, you know. Working hard and getting noticed. So someone is working hard and getting noticed. So they need to put that work in. Um, I do feel like somebody definitely is working on themselves and they're trying to evolve and be a better person. Somebody is watching. This could be um, their partner that's watching, okay? They could be watching their loved one, you know, transform, be a better person here, okay? So collective, I feel like this is you, okay? For some of you, you're working on yourself, okay? You're working on your goals and getting noticed. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be in all aspects of your life. All right. Issues are making you feel stuck and unable to move forward. Yeah. So confined, like I said here, confined, feeling trapped in this connection. So feeling trapped in your connection could be creating all types of stuck feeling, you know, feeling like you're unable to move forward. Okay. And what needs to happen is that you need to focus on yourself. Spend time with yourself, begin to heal so you can be able to make a um, wise decision. Because I feel like for some, like you're in an energy of like high emotion, right? And you're not really able to make clear decisions. Of course, don't stay in a situation that is abusive, okay? Like, don't do that. <laughs> fearful, afraid to lose you. Like I was saying, there is somebody that is holding on very tightly. They could also be trying to guilt trip you as well. This is for some of you. Um, just for others of you, it's just, you know, someone is afraid of losing you. Or maybe you're afraid of losing this person. All right, one more card. I was hearing I lost so many people.
cries wolf, then they are the predator. Oh, excuse me, cries wolf when they are the predator. So there is someone crying wolf playing the victim when they are the perpetrator, not predator, okay? Very well could be predator. <laughs> so somebody is manipulating here and it's crazy. It's like um, they don't want they don't want you to leave them when they've been the perpetrator, when they've been manipulating, when they've been having their cake and eating it too, you know, when they've been holding you down, not in a good way, like, no. So you're being encouraged to make a um, decision to release yourself from whatever this toxicity is, okay? There for some of you, spirit was telling me you're needing to look at yourself, okay? The part you played in this situation, okay? All right, let's go ahead and close out the reading. I should have grabbed another deck, but I didn't. Uh, what else do we got going on? Three cards. Three cards. All right, ascending. So some of you are transcending obstacles, moving on, overcoming, um, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So you're definitely working on yourself and rising above the BS. Golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, okay? So some of you are ascending above this. Like you're not, you're choosing not to be trapped in this manipulation or this BS, okay? Some of you could be leaving this type of personality or side of yourself. You could be leaving this, you could be shedding this from your personality, from your energy okay because it could be s some of you that was in this energy but you're moving away from that or you're moving away from this person who possessed these energies all right keys on a ring many options decisions unconventional string along one night stand okay i mentioned decision making a decision so some of you have many options here you could be in an unconventional situation as well or somebody could be stringing you along all right, there is someone who could have several options here. All right, there is somebody who is dealing with a married man or a married woman, somebody who's in a relationship or married, okay? And that is not good at all. It's a karmic relationship, okay? When you're messing around with somebody who's married to someone, I mean, nothing good comes out of it. It's nothing but negativity, okay? So get out while you can. Um, you are definitely deserving of something better. All right, I'm just going to pick um, a card from the Romance Angels. It's your advice going forward. Your advice going forward is to retreat. All right, it's time to disconnect from the world. So whether that be retreat, maybe um, spending time with the person you love and care about. All right, uh, retreating with someone that you trust, spending time with someone you trust and love. Okay, some of you are needing to get away, take some time out alone for some of you, and disconnecting from what no longer serves you, whether that be energetically, uh, relationship-wise, okay? All right, so this is the end of the reading. God bless.